my boys and girls <clears throat> about after a week i have appeared before you because <clears throat> my throat is choked and it is very difficult for me to talk to you how oh, from different corners my dear students are requesting me to discuss with them figure of speech so without making my introduction lengthy i just want to give you an idea about figure of speech what is figure of speech <coughs> figure of speech is actually one kind of ornamental use in writing and this ornamental use of english in access the beauty of the language in access the elegance of the language in access the masculinity of the language because english is known the masculine language <clears throat> however we may conclude that figure of speech is nothing but ornament that increases the beauty of the language both in speech and in writing now <coughs> my tonight's discussion is simile what is simile simile is actually a comparison between two different objects having the same qualities having the same qualities so simile is a figure of speech comparison of one thing with another and the comparison is explicit not implicit not implied it is explicit for examples she had eyes like forest pools so eyes have been compared to forest pools and connected by like clear the water of the river is as red as vermilion during the sunset or during the sunset the water of the river is as red as vermilion i am trying my level best to give you the idea about simile in a very slow motion you may take your exercise book and pen and write my lecture down in your exercise book. another example of simile that i am going to give you the man is as brave as a lion 
as has been used before the adjective and after the adjective. Actually, it is an example of positive degree, but it is simile to. So, simile can be used by like, as, etc. Okay, another example. I wonder lonely as a cloud. I am taking the line from Japodils by William Wordsworth. <coughs> I wonder lonely as a cloud. How did I wonder? Like a cloud. So like. Another example is like a child from the womb, W-O-M-B, like a ghost from the tomb, I arise and unveiled it again. This line has been taken from Sally's The Cloud. Like a child from the womb and like a ghost from the tomb. You see that like has been used. <coughs> Another example. Like him that travels, I return again. Like him that travels, I return again. It has been taken from William Shakespeare's sonnet. Okay? Another example. Fair as a star when only one is shining in the sky. Fair as a star when only one is shining in the sky. It is from William Wordsworth's The Lost Love. I am taking another example from Wordsworth's Westminster Village. This city doth like a garment wear the beauty of the moth, like a garment. So, it is also an example of simile. So, what is simile? Simile is actually a comparison between two persons, two objects, or one person and one object, one object and one person, having the same characteristics, qualities, etc. <coughs> and in the case of simile, you may be sure that as, like, must be used. Because the comparison is explicit, not implied. But <coughs> in the case of metaphor, you may be sure that the comparison, there is comparison, but the comparison is implied. Then what is metaphor? It is the imaginative use. Imaginative use of a word or phrase to suggest another things, qualities of both the things are the same. The qualities of both the things are the same. 
but the comparison is implied. As for example, the camel is the sheep of desert. The camel has been compared to a sheep, but the comparison you see is implied is the sheep of desert because the sheep cannot sell on desert. You should be very cautious while detecting metaphor. Another example I may pick up dreary desert sand of dead habit dreary desert sand of dead habit it is taken from <coughs> Ramana Tagore's where the mind is without fear dreary desert of dead habit so dead habit is compared to dreary desert but there is no or there is neither as nor like so the comparison is implied I am detecting I am detecting two or three lines from Milton's Lycidas for example, weep no more, woeful shepherds, weep no more, for Lysidas as your serve is not dead, sunk though he be beneath the watery floor. The watery floor, the floor is watery. That means it is the depth of the ocean. And it, it has been metaphorically described as watery floor. So sinks the day star. The day star. The day star means here the sun. So, the sun has been metaphorically described as the star. Clear? So sinks the day star beneath, sorry, in the ocean bed from Milton's Lysidas. <coughs> she was a phantom of delight. Phantom of delight is metaphor. When she glimpsed upon my sight, taken from William Wordsworth. Variety is the spice of life. Metaphor. Another example. The ship plows the sea. Plow means actually to till the land with a plow. But plow has been used as verb. Plows the sea. That means it sails upon the sea. So the line has been used metaphorically. So <coughs> in the case of simile, the comparison is explicit, and in the case of metaphor, the comparison is implied. Thank you very much. Here I end my lecture because my throat is troubling me much. Yet, I cannot but request to subscribe my channel, to share, to comment, 
Whatever you like. However, good night. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. If my lesson comes to your benefit. Thank you, all of you.